We now have another solution, and that solution is ceramic implants. Now, ceramic implants have been around for a number of years, but only recently have they really been into a more per perfect order. In other words, they really do work. They look better, they're more compatible, they've been time tested, and now we're thrilled to say that we can provide that service. I want to introduce to you Sammy Numbisi. Now Sammy's the president and founder of the International Academy of Oral Ceramic Implantology. He's been in it for about five years as the president. I think he was really looking to the future about how we're going to have solutions that are with biocompatible materials and a better product than the metals. Most people nowadays that enter our practice are interested in having their bodies relieved of the metals. It first was the mercury fillings and then came along the other porcelain fused to metal and now gold has become a problem with so many of our public but having ceramics is a huge relief for the body. So when a root canal tooth is removed and that site is cleaned up, a ceramic implant can be placed. It's really a thrill for us to be able to provide that service. I give you Sammy. I started uh, with ceramic implants uh, in 2009. And this happened when I acquired my practice, which uh, previously belonged to a holistic dentist. And at that time, uh, a lot of the patients needed implants, but they, they, they resisted doing it because all the implants on the U.S. market were uh, titanium and titanium alloy implants. The oral environment is a very, very aggressive and, and harsh environment for any material that you put in there. So what we know now is that uh, titanium, over time, will start to break down in somebody's mouth, uh, will will, has a tendency to attract uh, a plaque to it and when you, where you have a lot of plaque you have a lot of bacteria and once you have a lot of bacteria in a certain area the acidity level goes up and you have a heightened inflammation now whatever happens in the mouth uh, we all know this especially as professionals it's going to translate to what happens in your body so if you have a lot of inflammation around your gums or around your teeth or in your mouth overall you're going to have other issues with the liver with the gut and other, other, other parts of the body. Well, zirconia is, uh, first of all, is a ceramic. A lot of people misunderstand it. Uh, it, it. It's derived from a material called zirconium. But once it's mixed with oxygen and, other, and processed, processed in a very specific way, it becomes a ceramic. So that's the first thing. Ceramic implants are very interesting. Uh, unlike uh, metal implants, metal implants today, in their group, in probably 95, 98% of them, are coated with a ceramic so that the bone attaches and holds the implant in, in the jaw. Ceramic implants are very different. They're not coated. The ceramic itself is modified at the factory, but the bone grows into the ceramic itself, a little bit like on a seashell. So you find that you have a more natural, a more, a, a less invasive type of osseointegration. integration. So the bone attaches directly to the implant surface. The bone in, in, infiltrates the surface of the implant versus on uh, metal implants where there's a coating that is sometimes likely to degrade or get detached from the implant. So that's the difference a little bit. You have a more direct integration of the ceramic implant versus an indirect integration of the titanium implant. Zirconia itself is a material that stays a lot cleaner. It doesn't corrode, it doesn't break down, it, doesn't, it accumulates very little plaque, therefore there's very little bacteria around these implants. And that's why you find that the quality of the bone and the quality of the gum is always uh, much more superior than around titanium implants. Most importantly, we see now that the gum never recedes away from zirconia implants. It always tends to grow even more around it. And that's very important, especially for the aesthetics, but also for hygienic reasons. Because if you have gum that attaches well to a material, like around a tooth, then you have less infiltration of bacteria, less infiltration of any foreign things or bodies that can, or material 
that can cause uh, the soft tissue to be red or inflamed. Uh, there's very minimal bleeding also around these uh, implants. The gum doesn't really bleed. So it's one, the zirconia today is the most biocompatible implant material right now. Ceramic implants have come and are coming a long way. And uh, in 2011, I founded the first professional association of dentists who are, and implantologists who are involved with ceramic implants. Uh, the association is called the International Academy of Ceramic Implantology. I'm the founding president. Uh, we meet yearly. Uh, we have uh, speakers that come from all over the world, uh, Europe, Asia, and that come and share the experience uh, uh, with us here in the United States of ceramic implants. The IAOCI, that's the name of the organization, the International Academy of Ceramic Implantology, is uh, going to have its next annual meeting in uh, Miami in February 2017. Uh, we are very, very pleased and proud to have some of the top speakers and researchers because we also want research to be a factor here. Uh, research is very important to prove what we see clinically. So we're gonna have a three-day meeting in Miami in February 2017. The take-home message here is um, you always wanna replace your missing teeth. This is very important uh, because when you lose teeth, you lose bone, you lose chewing ability, you nourish yourself even poorly, and all these things have an impact on your general health, even on your brain health. I mean, teeth have to be replaced. Now the question comes, how do you replace them? Okay, you just don't want to replace them with whatever you can put in your mouth. You have to look for a dentist that can, that understands the relationship between your mouth and your body, that pays attention to the materials that they use and are going to place in your body because dentists are one of the doctors that put the most amount of things or materials in people's bodies on a daily basis. We dentists implant fillings, we implant crowns, we implant implants. So it's very important that once you're going to have things that are permanently placed in your body, they need to be materials that are truly biocompatible, that are not going to challenge your immune system to a point where it causes distress and disease.